Hi everyone, I'm Cody from Fly By Tire and in today's video we are going to show you what type of speakers you need to replace on a Mercedes with a Harman Kardon sound system. Now mine, I was happy with them, but unfortunately these guys right here ended up blowing out uh, just over a lot of use. And I tried a few different replacements and weren't really happy with the sound of many of them because these are a very unique speaker. There are two ohms uh, with two voice coils and they produce a very low mid sound. A lot of the mid-range speakers are more of a mid-high, and I found a set of speakers that sound surprisingly close to what these. And uh, I'm not surprised why. They are Infinity reference speakers. As you can see here in the model, they are an REF-6530CX. It's a six and a half inch speaker. Uh, now I'm just going to be using the woofers. Now I suppose you could also replace the tweeters, uh, but these sound great. So let's get to the installation your car door uh, first thing take everything you have out of the center pocket there then what we are going to do is take a just a flathead screwdriver small kind of fine tip and pop this guy out um, be careful with it now as long as you don't do anything crazy it's not going to break um, and then you probably want to grab onto it here there we go okay so the next step is to gain access behind this lock and unlock button a couple different ways to do this uh, I believe they make a special tool with hooks on it that can hook in either side. What I like to do, it's easier with two hands, is basically push the locks in with a pair of pliers, grab this, and then pull it out. You may scratch it up just a little bit, uh, but it's not really noticeable, and that's definitely the, the easiest way to do this. Now you'll be greeted with the three screws that you need to remove. And those screws are a Torx T30. The Torx T30 screwdriver should be all you need. Uh, they may be on type from the factory if this is your first time, uh, but you certainly should be able to get them off. So let's get those off. Now that we have all of the screws out, the next step, uh, it's, it's handy if you have a tool like this. It pops these clips off. Uh, these panels are on here pretty tight from the factory. Um, now if you don't, you can use a screwdriver. You will scratch up your car a little bit. If you want to do this without scratching it, you'll need some type of plastic coated tool. Uh, I'm not super concerned on this car. I'm just going to do it down at the bottom here. So what I do is insert a screwdriver like so. That gives you enough clearance so you can pull back the material just enough to get this tool underneath. Once you do that, you can simply pop the panel off like that. Now, before we take it off, what we want to do is take a, another flathead screwdriver and come in here on the top of the speaker. Be careful, but don't worry about it too much. Pop the speaker off like so. And then that guy comes out. Now, so we don't leave it hanging, what I'm going to do. Okay. Get yourself a small flathead screwdriver. And then what I do is insert it just inside there and then basically pry this guy out. There we go. Perfect. We've got it. There we go. Now the tweeter has been disconnected. So you can just set that aside. And now it's simply a matter of taking off the door panel. Okay. So for the door panel, we're just going to pop all the clips out and then simply lift it upwards. Now you want to make sure it's angled while you do this. That way it will actually come off the top and it should slide off like so. Now, once you're inside, there's a few things that you're going to need to disconnect. So those two, the, the green and the blue connectors, those will have to be disconnected. There's little tabs you can push down to assist with that. Obviously, don't damage your lock. Uh, it is possible to damage that. You want to be careful with it. Uh, and then finally, underneath here, we have the actual door actuator. Okay, so to remove the door actuator, what I like to do is pop this out first and then you can simply just slide this out like so. So now that we have the door panel off, you're going to be greeted with this. Now, I've already replaced these once as I've been experimenting with different speakers to find the one that actually sounds correct for this car. Uh, and so you would have this in here. Now you can't simply just unscrew the speaker and pull it out. It'll break things and it, it won't work properly. So what you will want to do is drill out these rivets all four of them 
uh, just take a drill bit about the size of the inner part, drill it out, and then this guy, it's got some adhesive on the back, but it's real easy. You can, can basically pull it out. Uh, this is super easy to unplug. And once you take that out, you're going to have this. Now, you will have to have a soldering iron uh, to, to do this. So from here, what you will do is disconnect, unscrew, unscrew all of this, and start prying it up with the screwdriver, the speaker. And then while you are prying that up, uh, you want to take a soldering iron and unsolder those two connectors in there that connect to the actual speaker. Now leave the other cables and these ends just simply slide off with a pair of pliers, leave them. Then what we are going to do is basically uh, connect up these two terminals here. Uh, so you will take the the one on the right hand side and connect it to the left hand side on top. So the black wire is going to connect to the right hand terminal there. And the red wire is going to connect to the left hand terminal there. Uh, the polarity is the opposite way on those and that's why it's done that way. Uh, and that is going to allow us to use this next speaker with only one voice coil. I will show you a picture of the completed, uh, completed product there. So once you have changed out the speaker, now let me take this speaker out and I'll show you what it looks like in this side. And if you were wondering, it is a Torx T20 to remove these screws. So once you have the speaker out, this is approximately what it will look like. Obviously you'll have it off the vehicle at this point in time. Now what you can do is this foam that came with your speakers, uh, you will take that and, and run it around here. Just take a small piece of it, uh, stretch it out far enough so it fits all the way around. Uh, if it doesn't come with enough, you can get this foam pretty much anywhere at auto parts stores. And that's going to seal in the speakers. The originals were glued in uh, with some adhesive. These, will, we can just use the foam. That way it's easy to remove if we ever need to. Uh, obviously, you you have to keep, the, keep in mind that the window is back behind here. If you were to put in some massive speakers or try to eliminate these adapters that Mercedes has on there, uh, you'll have much bigger problems. So... Uh, you can actually see up there the work that I have done on that connector uh, in order to make it work with this. Um, so from here, these connectors are a little bit too loose for the new speaker. New speaker, you can see here, has different connectors on it. Um, let me flip this guy over. I'll show you one of the reasons I went with this particular speaker. So Infinity is actually made by Harman. Harman Kardon makes Infinity and JBL. And these two speakers are very, very similar. Uh, they're made out of the same material and the magnet is a similar size. Obviously this is a dual voice coil and they are slightly different, um, but these, all the characteristics that were good about these, these incorporate, uh, but they sound a lot more clear. So you could do this as an upgrade, uh, not just a replacement. These will definitely sound a lot better. So let's, get these installed. Now, what I like to do is take my needle nose and just crimp these down a little bit. That way the, they will fit securely on the new speaker. There we go, so we have it connected up. Now the last step, before you put all this back together, you definitely wanna make sure it works properly. So let's turn on the car and play some music. There we go, it all sounds great. So now it's just a matter of putting everything back together. When you do put it back together, be careful of this. I actually broke this on mine last time. Uh, because I was I, I let the door hang on it and it popped it out of the place And now you have to press the unlock button when you open the door So before I put it back together, I'm gonna see if I can fix this uh, But it's a real pain to change the lock somewhere. Believe me. I know I have had to do it on the other side So be careful with this guy now. Also, there is a, a, a Rubber piece here a seal that always sticks on the door panel You will need to take that off of the door panel and slap it back on here before you can put the door panel back on Otherwise, you'll be trying for days. Also keep in mind uh, your, your uh, window. You wanna have the window all the way down when you do this procedure. Okay, so it's all put back together and it sounds great. Now, to just go over a few technicalities. So these are a dual voice coil, two ohm speaker. So each coil is rated at two ohms. Now, most car speakers on the market are four ohm speakers. These Infinities are three. So uh, it doesn't make a huge difference. This type of difference isn't going to damage anything. Uh, and, and they sound really good. Uh, but the four ohm speakers just aren't going to give you enough oomph as, as these two ohms, or in this case, three. Now, 
They do technically make, I was able to find these, uh, it's a SCAR audio. It's got two voice coils and it's a, it is, they make them in a two ohm variety. Now, they are a very large speaker. So if you want them to work, basically what you do is this piece on the bottom here, you cut this off, this metal piece right there, and then you take off this rubber surround on the magnet, and then you have to cut out inside of here. You cut out all of these tabs, uh, really kind of cut a lot out of it, but you don't have to do too much, just all the tabs. And then on the front, uh, the speaker is actually going to sit on the very top. So get some real thick foam and run it around in here. And then you'll obviously need some longer screws. And it is a very tight fit. You'll have to make some new cables for it. But it is possible to get one of these two um, dual voice coil subwoofers in there. And the car does power it. It doesn't really have a huge problem. The pro I have a friend who actually used these and was happy with them. Uh, personally, I put them in and they, they work. They make bass frequencies. Uh, now I have a, a large subwoofer already and they were producing the same sounds. There is a specific, very kind of low mid bass that these produce that these just can't reach up there and produce that. So really, if you don't have a subwoofer and never intend to, maybe this could be a good option. Uh, but if you do, or you enjoy the, uh, the full range of your music, I would definitely go with something like the Infinities. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, really cool what you can do with this upgrade. Uh, it will sound a lot better, especially if you have blown speakers like I did. Uh, so I hope it helps someone. If you joined the video and would like to see more videos like today, click that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on another great video. Anyway, hope you have an excellent day. I'm Cody. I will see you all in the next video.